guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching so in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how to highlight and contour using powders I wanted to do this video because I noticed that I don't have a specific tutorial that's just focusing on highlight and contouring with powders I do do this in every single one of my videos but I kind of fast forward through it and I just show you a little glimpse of what I actually do so I decided to just dedicate a whole entire video showing you guys how I highlight and contour using powders. Now highlighting and contouring with powders is actually my favorite way to highlight and contour because it's not as extreme as using creams because cream contour can be very extreme so it's a little bit more of a toned down contour and highlight and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's really easy to do and you don't need a lot of makeup skills in order to do highlight and contour with powders. So I definitely wanted to show you guys how I do it and my favorite ways and little tips and tricks along the way depending on your face shape and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, enjoy this highlight and contour video using powders. I already have my foundation and my concealer on and I also set my concealer with a translucent powder. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do after that's in my face. So for today, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I did review this palette, so I will have the video linked down below. So yeah I'm gonna use this to contour and for the most part the brush that I like to use recently has been the MAC 130 and this is an angled tapered kind of blending brush personally I love this brush to contour because it really gets right into that hollow of the cheek which is what we want when we're contouring. I'm going to take Subconscious and this is the lightest shade that's in the palette and I'm taking the shade because it's a lot cooler in tone and that's what you want when you're looking for a powder contour. These two right here are a little bit too warm to contour with so I'm going to take the lightest shade and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to tap my brush in there and then I'm going to tap off the excess. When it comes to placing the contour, this is going to vary for every single person because we don't all have the same kind of face shape. So I have a rounder face, so I'm going to be very specific where I place my contour. So for the cheeks, I always, for the most part, like to start up here, right where my ear kind of starts, right up here. And then I smile, and you see how the cheek kind of plumps up? So I smile. And I place it all the way up. I'm going to round it off because this is going to make the cheeks appear fuller and it's going to give you a more chiseled look. If you guys look at Kim Kardashian's contour, um, Kylie Jenner's contour, who else? Jennifer Lopez, all of those big stars, you'll notice that nothing dark falls under the laugh line. So you want to make sure that the darkness stays above that. So this little triangle right here you want to keep that light so you want to make sure that when you're applying this kind of when you're applying your contour you take it up instead of straight because if you take it straight that's not going to be a pretty look it's going to look horrendous so you want to make sure that you round it off so grab some product and I'm going to start at the outer part so let me move my mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. Up here, and I kind of smile a little bit. So I start at the, sorry, I have a lot of baby hairs. So I'm trying to pick up my hair. So you guys see I'm starting right here. And then I'm just going to go in circular motions, very, very soft. And just kind of round it off. And then I'm going to get a little bit more, tap it off, and then I'm going to start kind of turning my brush as I go up. And this is why I love this brush because it has an angle, so it lets you really sculpt out that cheek. So I'm going to take this up and start rounding it off. Now you definitely don't want to apply too much product. So for this part right here, use very little product. If you want, don't grab any more product. Just kind of sweep whatever is left forward and start kind of rounding it off. So once you have the cheeks done, we're going to move up to the forehead. So 
Now, the forehead again varies for a lot of people. If you have a bigger forehead, then you definitely want to take your contour all the way around. But personally, I don't feel like I have a pretty kind of normal forehead or it's not big but it's not too small either what I'm gonna do is I only really like to just do the sides so I'll just do the sides again if your forehead is a little bit wider and kind of bigger you definitely want to take it all around but I just like to do the sides of the forehead so I'll just do the sides My, my face, like I said, is a lot rounder, so I want to make this right here appear slimmer because since it's a round face, everything is kind of rounded. So I take a little bit more of that and I place this right here in the temples and in the sides of my face. So this is going to make the face look a lot shorter and it's not going to make it look as wide and as round because we're kind of making that disappear a little bit so I'm just kind of connecting the forehead to the cheek so I don't know if you guys can tell but this side looks a lot kind of not as wide as this side hope the camera is picking it up then I'm going to take some more and I'm going to shade in my jawline because again I have a very rounded face so I want to make this look more chiseled so I kind of contour the jawline a little bit and then I go right here because I kind of have a double chin a little bit now that we have that um, I like to bronze my skin so I'm gonna take the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. Any bronzer will work. I really like this one because it fits my skin tone really nicely in my opinion. So I'm going to take it with the Bare Minerals Flawless Face. This is really similar to the MAC 129. I'm going to grab a little bit of that and I'm going to work this again just in the outer part. I'm not going to take this in because that's going to look really weird. So I just like to use this to bronze my skin. So I'm going to smile again and I'm going to just work this in the outer part like that. Take some in my forehead and this is just pretty much like going to bronze the skin and give you a really pretty bronzy, bronzy, <laughs> bronzy glow. So now we're, go we're ready to start highlighting. So for highlights, there's a different powders that you can use. I personally really like the MAC Emphasize because it's a stark white and has some shimmer to it. So it's going to make it really pretty as in under eye highlights. And also we have Banana by Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's really pretty too. And you can also use, I personally love mixing um, Lyric. And this one is called Levitation. So I love mixing Levitation and Lyric. That gives you a really, really vibrant highlight. But for today's video, I'm going to use a mixture of Max uh, Emphasize with Anastasia's Banana Powder. So I'm going to mix both of those together. I'm taking it with an e.l.f. brush brush. And I'm only going to be applying this right here in the outer part. So I'm going to place it right there and as you guys can see it's pretty bright and then whatever is left I'll just take it up but you definitely don't want to pack too much product under the eye because that's when things can kind of cake up and look a little bit too muddy you see how it just gives a very highlighted compared to the other side so so now I'm gonna grab just the banana shade and I'm gonna put this on the chin And in the center now I like to go in with a kind of shimmery type of highlight but that has a color to it so this one is looks kind of dark but this is called um, rose gold by Becca 
And I like to take it with a big fluffy brush. I'm using the Real Techniques um, multitask brush. I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to smile and I'm going to put this in the apples of the cheeks. And this is going to add a beautiful kind of iridescent glow. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a glow. So just on the apples of the cheeks. Now I'm going to do my blush. I'm going to be using Peaches by MAC. Love this blush. I'm going to take it with a MAC. This is a 183 brush. I'm going to take it with this. And I'm going to put this again in the apples of the cheeks and blend it backwards. I really love this blush, this brush because it grabs just the right amount of product and it gives like a very airbrushed type of look which I love. So in the apples and then back. So now that the blush is done, I'm going to go in with a powder highlight and for today I'm going to be using Becca's Opal. Love this highlight. I love to apply it with a fan brush because I feel like it applies less of the product and it distributes the product better than a very dense brush so I'm gonna put a good amount of that because we all like that glow I place my fan brush right below my wing liner and then I just kind of start pushing this back and then I put some down so that when we smile we kind of get that beautiful glow so again, back and down. And I'm using just the tip of the brush to place down because you don't want to bring this too down because if you bring it too down, then you're going to have a hot mess down here. So again, just the tip of the brush and press down. You want to intensify the highlight even more. Get a little bit on the fan brush and spray the fan brush with some Fix Plus. And then just lightly, very lightly, put this on the cheeks. Now we'll go in with a, this is a Sigma F35. I'm getting a little bit more of that banana powder. And I'm going to sculpt the bottom portion. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I want to show you guys everything just in case you guys want to go for a more dramatic look, you know what to do. So with a lot of that product in my brush, I'm going to make a kissy face and I'm going to put this below that contour and this is really going to chisel the contour out, make it more intense and clean it up. So just in case you get a little bit messy back here, this will really help to clean it up. So. And then I kind of take it upwards because we did take that contour up to round off our cheeks. Really quickly, I'm going to show you guys um, a, a simple nose contour because I don't really contour my nose. I don't really feel like I need to contour my nose, but I love this brush to contour. This is the MAC 286. It's a fiber, dual fiber brush, but it's a really fluffy brush. I grabbed the same powder we used to contour. I turned my brush to the side and my face to the side as well and then I just kind of shade the sides in so kind of shade the sides in just a little bit I like nose contouring can either be amazing or it can look absolutely horrible so I don't really spend too much time on my nose to be honest because it's it's really hard to contour your nose and it's not really necessary to be honest I mean I'm okay with my nose but it can be really bad if you don't know how to do it properly so I just like to shade the sides a little bit just to give my nose a little something I'm gonna get a little bit of opal there you go I'm gonna get a little bit of them and I'll place it back here and then I'll just kind of blend that down so once you have your face completely done, I like to take my MAC Prep and Prime. This is a Fix 
fuss. This is a finishing spray and since we are working with powders, this is also going to make everything look a lot less cakey because powders tend to be a little bit intense and can make your skin look a little bit too cakey and can intensify some of your pores so i definitely love to kind of bath myself in fix plus because it really sets everything and gives it a dewy look without making you too oily so i'm going to spray this all over my face so this is going to intensify the glow and it's going to just make it a lot better and I spray a lot of it because I love the finish it gives me hey you guys so once you have done that your contour is pretty much completed I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned a couple of different things thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you guys very soon with another video